Pro may seem like an awfully loud and busy place for a little kid, but Cedric Bubba Ritchie, a third generation racer, feels right at home. Cedric was at his very first race at 18 months old. From the time that he was little, we were going to the racetrack. Watch how fast my wheel goes now. When you steer a lot, it's like turning your car a little bit. At six years old, Cedric is already a standout on the quarter midget racing circuit. He's always trying to be first. He's always trying to be the best. It's not just the way he races that gets Cedric noticed. It's also those golden locks. It is his superpower, it is his identity, it is his personality. He's got nicknames at school, he's got nicknames at the track. It's the mullet bullet, mullet man. <laughs> Cedric wants that checkered flag, but there's always someone standing in the way. Piper's been the front runner all year. All year she's been on the podium, she's been winning the races. What do you think happens when the two of you are on the track at the same time? We might get in a wick. <laughs> you always want there to be one kid that makes your kid better, but they are best friends off the track. I might know we're in the same class, but good luck. Thank you. Don't turn it on until you hit the white line. He'll go into tunnel vision is what we call it. Do you ever have music in your mind while you're racing? It was Ghostbuster. You think about Ghostbusters while you're racing? Yeah. The song? Yeah. The cars are all built the same. Top speed, 25 miles per hour. Roll bars for safety. Watch the flag, Baba, you got this! Even so, there are spin-outs, wrecks. And halfway through the day's final race, Cedric gets clipped and runs through a wall. Then, while trying to make up ground, he gets in another accident. Once again, Piper wins the race. Hey, you rebounded after a really bad race to finish second, dude. Cedric! The defeat, the rivalry, they vanish in a moment. After all, these are six-year-olds, and there's a football to throw around. <laughs>